Hello everybody, hello everybody, and welcome back. Today, we are talking about Glorious Arstotzka. The game is Papers, Please. Now, this game is a type of, uh, management sim type of game where you're simply getting people's papers. You are border patrol for Glorious Arstotzka. So you've got to make sure that bad people don't get into the country and the people that are alright do. Um, honestly, it's uh, overwhelmingly positive with 96% positive reviews on Steam, and I really enjoyed it. I've played through it a few times on my own time, and I know there have been plenty of YouTubers who have played through this game for their own channels as well. And uh, honestly, it's a good time. There's a shocking amount of like storytelling going on here. The fact that they managed to tell a story with a lot of little stories in between through a game where you're just looking at passports I give them credit for that now for the gameplay I'm just I just I just went into survival modes um, it's been a little while since I played so I figured survival modes would be a decent way to roll through and uh, yeah definitely a entertaining experience. It's dark, it's gritty. Uh, there's mild horror elements, I think. Not in the sense that, like, you would think of when you would normally think of horror elements, but more in, like, real-life kind of horror, like bombings and attacks and stuff like that. Terrorism kind of stuff. And it tackles some, some very real issues. And, uh, let's see, it came out in 2013, so this game has been out for a little while. But that doesn't mean that it isn't still fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, there's a wide variety of endings you can get, um, depending on how you play and certain decisions that you make. Uh, yeah, so definitely a lot of things going on there. So what you're doing, your core gameplay mechanic, your job, as the papers please guy is to check out people's passports and whatever other documentation is mandated for that day in order to check for discrepancies and interrogate said discrepancies if they come up and decide whether or not people belong in our Stotska. and there's in the story mode there's recurring characters there's uh, many storylines like I said very good stuff I, I honestly, I recommend the game overall. I recommend it. Get you a little bit of that there. Uh, a little bit that, a little bit of that there. Documentary, documenting dystopian style. Very entertaining game. I've put a uh, decent amount of hours into it. 17 of them. Which, uh, I'm not, I'm not normally too, too big on, on these kinds of games. But... I do uh, enjoy them to a degree, and this one specifically. Also, um, there's a uh, there's a short film. There's like a ten minute long live action short film of Papers Please, uh, and I gotta say, it was really good. Like it was really really good. I don't know what the hell I expected out of it, but god damn it, it was it was awesome. So shout out to those guys for doing such a damn good job on that. They did a fantastic job on that. And I'd already played through the game. So like the primary sub story that came up in the movie. I am aware of. I have experienced it myself. And oof, it's a bit of a tearjerker. I'm not going to say what it is. You're going to have to either play the game or watch the little short film. To see for yourself. Of course, in the short film, the decision is pretty much set in stone. In the game, you can change the outcome as you see fit. Of course, that brings me to the fact that changing the outcome from what happens in the movie is going to get you rode up. What happens when you get rode up? Well, usually the first time you get rode up in a day is fine. It's whatever. Not a big deal. Unless, like, you know, the purse you let through is a suicide bomber or something. Then it's kind of a big deal. But, like, as far as your points and whatnot, it's not really going to affect that too much. Again, unless it's like a suicide bomber, which will immediately end the day 
and you you just might end up short on money because of it. But it's uh, it's it's usually okay the first time you get run up. Sometimes the second time you get run up is all right. After that though, you start getting fines. Now, what you're doing, you're doing your day-to-day -day job to pay for your bills and put your food on your table and everything. You got family. You know, you guys are living in your shitty little apartment. I'm just trying to get by. In glorious Harstolska. You know, and if you can't pay the bills, then you can't make it. You can't survive. And that would be a game over. Or really, an ending in and of itself, honestly. Um, but it's a... It's a very, very fun game. The one, the one bit of advice that I would give when certain things are going on, and requires some kind of, some kind of investment or commitment to them, I'm gonna say if you decide to go down a certain path with a certain recurring NPC, just commit. Don't fuck around. Don't just kind of like dip your feet in it or anything. Fully commit. Because every NPC that has some kind of little mini storyline type of thing going on has an ending or two related to them and I can assure you that only dipping your feet in is not going to get you a desirable ending anyhow though I'm not gonna say too much more of that I don't want to dig into spoilers that's not, we're not, that's not what we're here for we're not here for spoilers we're here for documenting we're here for kicking people out of our country who don't belong here. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Uh, we're here for basically keeping the border safe. Making sure things are uh, things are going good for Gloria Sarsotska. Now I know that this could be a, a somewhat topical type of topic, you know, the whole border thing, but we're not going to dig into that. We're sticking exclusively to the video games. I'm not smart enough to comment on real life stuff. The game also, uh, for those who care, on Steam has like Steam cards and Steam achievements, so you can kind of keep track of yourself. I've got, I've apparently got only three achievements locked. So, and on the store page, it is selling for ten dollars. That's not too bad. Ten dollars, I'd, I'd say ten dollars is a really, really fair amount of money for this, honestly. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what else I really wanted to say here. So, I think that that's going to be where it is. I know it's a little shorter, but that's fine. It is what it is. Sometimes it be that way. Um, I've got a few good ideas that I think you guys will like coming up here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, strategizing certain things. There might be some more more, more videos coming. Not just the usual uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday videos. I might have something in the pipeline at some point. I don't know when it's going to show its face, but it, it might just be in the pipeline a little bit to fill up another day slot and get you guys a little bit more content. Something a little different. But not too different. So, I'll keep you guys posted on that, I guess. Um, but for, for the time being, we're just going to stick to what we're doing. And kind of stay full send on this. Completely committed. And meeting my damn schedule. Anyhow, thank you guys again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, grief that bell button if you want to dislike rage in the comments unsubscribe if you really want to that's fine it's a free world free country anyway and i will fucking see you later